Hey guys, and welcome back to War Thunder. It is Krebsy here in the Tetrarch, as I promised in the last video. This vehicle is the other reserve uh, vehicle for the British Ground Forces, coming out at a whopping battle rating of 1.0. You're going to be seeing stuff like mouses, T10Ms, I'm just joking. You're not going to see anything like that, but just very low tier tier stuff. And since the uh, update has just come out recently, chances are all you're pretty much going to be coming against is <laughs> British vehicles because no one's using any other faction at the moment. Uh, so this vehicle is powerful. It's very fast, getting about 67 kilometers per hour top speed. That's even faster than the BT-7, BT-5. If you thought those vehicles were fast, I mean, well, this just takes it up a whole nother level. God damn it, I'm so slow. <laughs> just coming out of that puddle and then the sand working against me as well. I'm just going to capture the zone, then we'll work, work our way up uh, along the line. And I've also got some amazing depression on my gun. Take a look at this. That's pretty good. That's very good, in fact. And I'm armed with a two-pounder, the same as the on the A13 Mark I. And that does a lot of penetration, and I highly recommend getting the APCBC shells. Now, unfortunately, this tank doesn't carry the same amount of shells as the A13, but it doesn't really matter. I mean, I would still carry about 50. Uh, the maximum that I can carry is 50 at the moment. And I would definitely recommend just going full capacity on, on this tank, because you just go through those rounds so fast, especially if you end up somehow staying alive for a long time. Then you go through those rounds, like, really fast, so... Uh, I'd highly recommend just getting as many rounds as possible. We're going to just try to take out this AI. Ay, ay, ay. Ay, ay, ay. Oh my gosh, that went straight into the tank trap. That was not what I wanted. Not what I wanted at all. Alright, but we got to be careful here because unfortunately we only have uh, three crew members within the vehicle. So as you can imagine, that is next to nothing. And dies very very fast so I don't want to lose anything one thing that I have noticed with the Brits is that they kind of have this bad and poor uh, dispersion on their guns like the dispersion is really bad at longer ranges at least that's what I've noticed so far with these lower tier vehicles my artillery just whooped somebody's butt low tier artillery is king isn't it artillery is amazing at low tiers I'm just worried about somebody coming around the side here because I think there is somebody that is there. Come on, let's kill this guy off. Thank you very much. Got him. But just look how fast I've already been going through my rounds. As, see, like I told you. Gotta have full capacity on those rounds. Or else it's gonna work against you. Anyway, we gotta aim on the right hand side. That's really where I should be trying to go for. Oh! Killed each other at the same time. Ah, uh, that's an unfortunate thing. And actually brings up a valid point about this tank. Whoa, look at that ricocheting inside. This vehicle has a really poor traverse speed on the turret. Uh, we're going to go out into the backup vehicle and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So we'll see if I want to do a full 180. Let's do that. Look how long it's going to take me to do it. Yeah, it's not quite like the A13. The A13, its turret traverse is a lot better. And I can work against you. Like in that position right there, if I had a faster traverse speed, I think I could have killed that Tetrarch faster than uh, he could have unloaded into me. But unfortunately, my church traverse was uh, not the best. That's something that you have to take into consideration. So that spot that I was playing out, really aggressive. Very, very aggressive. So it's definitely sometimes help to have that better traverse speed. Let's finish off this AI. Come on. <laughs> can be so pesky to take him, off so take him on sometimes. There we go, we got a bunch of artillery to work with. Oh, so much! I just need to find some valid targets to go for. And then we can just lay it down on top of them. Oh, another cool thing! In 1.55, the PT-76, the only amphibious vehicle in the game, can actually float. I think that is amazing. I think that actually looks so cool. I'm not sure if you guys have seen the video or not. But it looks so cool, seeing that vehicle actually floating. And it's like, the first form of ships that players can actually use in the game. I know it's kind of ridiculous. I know it's not an actual ship, but it just looks amazing, you know? Alright, we're gonna drop some artillery on this. That was failed. That was kind of off the side. This guy is moving. We're gonna drop two artilleries on the SPAA. As I said in the previous vehicle, uh, video, those SPAA, the T17E2s, are really dangerous. Really, really dangerous. So the faster they die, the better. Actually, the best counter to these things is distance. Because they have 
their penetration drops severely over distance. There we go. We finished them off. We got a number of artillery shots available. Yeah, so their penetration drops over distance very, very rapidly. Anything over 100 meters or so. Uh-oh. Whoa, luckily I killed him. Look at that. Severely damaging the guys within my vehicle. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> they survived a 12.7 millimeter bullet. Yeah, that's impressive. I'm worried if I might start drowning here. Anyway, let's drop some artillery on top of... I think there was somebody there. And I think we're going to huddle around this area. There's somebody else up ahead. I can see that light tank. I can't spot him on the map for some reason, though. Alright, we're going to push on up. Let's take a look at the enemy team. There's really not that much of many of them left alive. Uh, might be enough time to get onto C and cap it. And then that might propel us into first place. Uh, it might. Depends if the enemies still make kills or not. Oh, there's an enemy right up ahead. Luckily, I'm actually going at a slow speed. Let's stabilize. I don't know. Oh, boy. Critical. And we killed his gunner. Okay, so we're just going to drop some artillery around here. Zoom in. I don't see anything. We'll take a shot. Look at that. Arcade amazing. Amazing, uh... <laughs> Amazing mechanics, being able to shoot over terrain. It gives you the eye, gives you where you should shoot in order for the drop to uh, kill an enemy behind some sort of cover or terrain. Oh man, I would love to get so a few more points just so I could get into first place here. Oh, so close! <laughs> oh man, feels bad. Feels bad. Who, who came first place? A Tetrarch as well? Not bad, man. Not bad. These Tetrics are really powerful little vehicles. Just have problems with survivability. Almost three crew members. It only leaves you the leeway of losing one crew member. Uh, and that's it. Hold up. We might... Ah! Oh, I was hoping there'd be enough time because that would take me to first place. So you can only lose one crew member and still be alive. And you better hope that that's your driver that dies. Because if anything goes into the turret, then it's likely going to kill both of the guys within there. So yeah. Fond memories of this vehicle. Definitely. Oh, this is from a previous game. Fond memories of the Tetrarch from previous vi uh, vi games like Company of Heroes. Where you're able to drop out of a glider and just do circles around the enemy. <laughs> That's absolutely amazing. I wish you could do that and... War Thunder now, you know, drop up behind somebody would be absolutely hilarious in a glider. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed that. That's a little bit of the Tetrarch right there. Fast and speedy vehicle. Working my way up along the line of the Brits. Just unlocked my Valentine. And I'm thinking in the next video, I'm going to show you guys the T17E2 because this vehicle literally is probably the strongest low tier vehicle in the game. No joke. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, this is Krebsy, and I'll catch you guys later. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go, now we blasting off into the ozone. The way we kicking in the dojo is local for show, though we did.